Oh yeah, yeah. Love One Piece. And yeah, obsessed yeah. With everything. And, which and is a very political anime, Connor. That's okay. Well, <laughs> it is a very political. <laughs> what? Anime. You told me One Piece is very political. Yes. It, what aspect? Oh my god. <laughs> I kind of want to talk about something a little bit interesting. A couple of days ago, I was scrolling through YouTube and I seen a very interesting video titled Is One Piece the most political anime ever made? The video is done by Trash Taste and it's a podcast where they got this political streamer by the name of Hassan Abi on the stream and he's talking about his anime takes and one of the anime takes he had is that one Piece is very political. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to touch upon the specifics that he mentions within the video, but I do want to answer the question. Is One Piece political? Yes or no? As someone that's been reading One Piece for a very long time, I've been talking about One Piece for about seven years now. I am interested in politics. However, I don't have a background in it. So I'm obviously not as educated as Hassan. My background is primarily in business, but I have had classes that talk about politics. One thing I've always learned as a content creator, the three things you never talk about, especially if you're not educated on the topics, are really religion, politics, and sport. So because I'm not an expert, I'm not going to go into the specifics that Hassan touches upon, but I do have a very basic understanding of different political theories that I've learned on my own or in school. And to give you my answer, yes, I agree. I do think One Piece is political. I also think a lot of anime are very political. Now, during the video, Hassan mentions that as an artist, as a writer, you're going to put your own inherent beliefs into your story. One Piece is a series about freedom, right? You could see that Oda inherently believes that freedom is one of the most important things. And one one thing I do know is that almost every political theory talks about maximizing freedom and how we could have the most freedom. Also in the story of One Piece, you can see that the oppressors are the world government. They're stopping people from attaining freedom. The government is made to seem as the good guys while the revolutionaries are made to seem as the evildoers. Heck, there's literally a revolutionary army in One Piece. One of Hassan's main arguments is that Oda literally has a picture of Shea Guevara in his office and that dragon is most likely based off of Shea. And obviously for those that don't know, Shea is a very political figure. He's a revolutionist. And this is something we've already known, right? Oda is inspired by real world history. He's inspired by certain elements that happen in our real world and he implements those things into our story. And I do think that One Piece is inherently political, right? I think that Oda does tend to put his beliefs into the One Piece story, into the One Piece narrative. Is it the most political anime ever? Probably not, right? There's literally anime that talk about politics all the time. There are anime that are more political than One Piece, but One Piece clearly is very political and it talks about a lot of different beliefs and whatever, right? And as a One Piece, fan, someone that's quite knowledgeable about One Piece, not to brag or anything, but I have been reading the series for a very long time. If I wasn't knowledgeable on the series, I'd be disappointed, right? I talk about this series literally every day for seven years. At that point, I gotta know something. Now, I'm not too knowledgeable about politics. I do know the basics, I guess. But yeah, I do think it is inherently political. Now, is Oda a communist? I don't know. I can't tell you. Because the way I see it is he's been very subtle, right? He's been very subtle with his political beliefs in, in One Piece. They're there, but they're not in your face. They're more in the background and you could see it while you peel back the layers of One Piece. He hasn't really given a, a solution as to what the problem is with the One Piece world. I think by the end of One Piece, I think we'll be able to tell a little bit more. But for some reason, people are acting like this is something new, right? Like, oh, wow, Oda's putting politics into One Piece. This has never been done before. No, this has been done time and time again with a bunch of different series. It hasn't only happened with One Piece. It's happened with series like Vinland Saga or Code Geass, there's a plethora of other anime that involve politics within them. Like if you take a look at Naruto, I don't think Naruto has politics in it, right? Like if you read Naruto, maybe you could get certain political themes with it, but I don't think Kishimoto is talking about those themes on purpose. Honestly, that's my take. I do think One Piece is political, but I think a lot of other anime are political and I think it's quite normal. I think it's more interesting, right? Like getting to see someone else's viewpoint because now when we read One Piece, we're actually getting actual themes that matter in the real world, right? We're discussing topic that matters in the real world, right? So yeah, I, I like that One Piece is kind of political. I don't mind it. And I don't understand why people would hate it, right? It's kind of odd to me. But listen, if you want more One Piece content, anime content, make sure you follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my channel, talk about all things anime manga related. Anyways, thank you for showing love. It means a lot.